Hello, we are building a team from Carpenter Pomona. It is our first year in the UFC competition, and I would like to introduce Rover Beauty. For our first year, we decided to focus our design on simplicity and robustness, so we can complete the maturity of UFC mission. Now, let's have an overview about our Rover. The core mechanical system was designed with two goals in mind, to be rigid enough to support the modules and be simple to build and maintain. To facilitate this, commercial off-the-shelf parts were used wherever possible. The suspension utilizes a rocker bogey design to maximize ground clearance and object traversal capabilities. The chassis uses 2020 aluminum extrusion, which is then fully enclosed with acrylic panels. The chassis is then ventilated with filtered input and output fans for thermal regulation while preventing dust intrusion. Our rover's power system relies on lithium-ion polymer batteries, providing 44.8 volts for the core and 14.8 volts for the drivetrain. To save space and weight, we've designed specialized power boxes for the science and the arm. These boxes will efficiently convert the core bus voltages to the required levels for each system. Both the power boxes and the batteries are modular and swappable, which allows for easy power scaling. All power can be shut off via an external kill switch and with internal circuit breakers. For communication between the rover and the base station, a 2.4 GHz link would be used for high bandwidth tasks like camera video streaming and a 900 MHz bridge for manual control with a range up to 1 km. To know the rover's precise location, we've equipped it with a ZF9P GNSS receiver and a base station for differential GPS. The Science Module Sample Collection System utilizes five capsules in a revolving mechanism. Each capsule contains its own auger, which negates cross-contamination. The drill motor was taken from a standard cordless electric screwdriver for ease of integration and design. The Science Module of the Billy Rover primarily consists of the Raman Spectrometer. The Raman Spec consists of a FLIR thermal camera, laser, cuvette holder, and several mirrors that re-image, split, and diffract the laser beam. As a result of normal and Raman scattering, organic compounds are able to be detected in the cuvette soil sample mixed with PVS saline solution, which stabilizes the sample's pH and convert it into the form of peaks on a graph on a computer. The purpose of this method is not only to show the intensity and Raman shift of the scattered light, but to detect the specific organic compounds prevalent in the sample and their bonds, paving insight into the necessary conditions of life support that may be found. Our manipulator consists of five axes, with a brushless DC motor on the first axis integrated with a planetary gear drive for handling torque up to 200 Nm, a linear actuator on the second axis and a servo integrated motor for the third axis for precise movement and high torque handling. While our fourth and fifth axis, we're using brushless DC motors with custom 48 to 1 carbon fiber nylon 3D printed gearbox to minimize the weight and maximize the efficiency. Our grippers is equipped with swappable fingers used for different missions, including server built finger for hex driving and mini linear actuator finger for keyboard tasks. Its main gripping surface is equipped with some material like TPU or silicon for maximizing grip surface area and friction coefficient. Billy uses robot operating system as the primary framework for autonomous navigation. The rover uses an IMU, encoders, and differential GPS to keep track of odometry. This allows the user to input target poses where the rover can correlate movement towards the location specified. The rover will use feedback from the sensors to ensure true smooth traversal. Point clouds from an Intel RealSense depth camera will be used to identify obstacles and properly avoid them. When navigation is started, it will create a target pose using the GNS location of the marker. The rover will use a computer vision model to find the tag and will navigate towards it when found. If the rover can't find the tag, it will move in a circle towards the tag's last known location. 